Hi guys, so I'm back again with another video and today I'm going to be making tacos. So take some garlic, take some chili pepper, you want to take some onion powder, and then you want to take a packet of sassoon. Now the next thing that you're going to see me do is go and grab my ground turkey, excuse me you guys. And then I got that for $2.12 on sale, so I'm going to go ahead and unpackage it and then i'm gonna split my meat into two sections that way i can stretch my meals now the reason why i do this because you can make a different bunch of variations of different meals like ground meat you can do uh spaghetti and meatballs you can do shepherd's pie you can do meatball all you can do uh, meatloaf there's so many different things that you can do with ground meat so i'm just splitting it in half and i'm gonna put half to make for dinner and half to put into the freezer Now, of course, this is everyone's favorite part, which is the flavor. You want to add all of your spices into a bowl on top of your meat. So I'm going in first with my onion powder, then I'm going in with my garlic powder. And then afterwards, you want to be very heavy handed with both. Going in with my chili pepper. And the reason why I use it as like a paprika is just for color. I use half a packet of sazon just because I didn't have taco seasoning. So I was like, I'm just going to use what I have. And then after I do that, I'm going to go ahead and combine the meat together in the bowl. And as you can see, my oil is in the side in that pan and it's getting hot. So that's what I'm waiting for. And I also added a little bit of parsley flakes. I forgot I added that. So I added some parsley flakes to add a little bit more of that flavor for it to pop through. And then I think if I'm correct, I added a little bit of Italian seasoning. So I did Italian seasoning as well. And I think that was the last little bit I had, but it was just the perfect little touch of seasoning that I needed. So now I'm gonna go in and of course, I'm gonna make sure that everything is well combined because we want the flavor to be in every area of our meat. We don't want it just in one spot because this will make the perfect taco bowls or the perfect tacos. So I'm just going ahead and doing that. And then once my oil is hot enough, you guys will see me go ahead and transfer over the meat to the oil so i'll speed up to that part so we're back and our meat is in the sizzling pan that was fast guys so now what we're gonna do is go ahead and let the meat just cook once the meat is almost thoroughly all throughout cooked want to just mix it up you don't want to mess with the meat too much because you want to make sure that it's cooking all the way throughout try not to manipulate it too too much and a fun tip and hack that you can use is when you're making ground meat or any like ground beef ground turkey add a little bit of water and it helps to dilute and not add so much grease into your food
Now this probably had to be my favorite Dollar Tree find, which is a Santa Fe blended vegetable mix. You can find the vegetable mix that they have of the Santa Fe one. They also have broccoli mixes, they have cauliflower mixes, they have peppers and onions. Of course I wouldn't get that, but for me to have found beans, peppers and onions and corn all mixed together that saves me some canned goods on having to purchase them and i can just add them i saved half the bag just in case moving forward i want to make something else with them like wraps or something like that but i'm using half tonight for dinner and honestly this was the best find that i found so the meat was halfway through once i added this so what i'm gonna do is just let my vegetables steam so i have that little bit of crunch and you can see i'm not stirring so much i'm more like folding it over to make sure i don't break up my vegetables too too much and then i'm shaking the pan back and forth so the meat is done and out of the way so the next thing that we're gonna get into working on is making our rice which i'm excited to show you guys now this is very important make sure depending it is the ratio of two to one so i'm doing two cups of rice three cups of water that's the ratio i always follow when i make a big batch and if i was to do a smaller batch i would do one cup of rice to two cups of water but just for the sake of this video and not being confusing i did two cups of rice and three cups of water which you'll see me end up doing soon in the video but the first thing we want to do is wash our rice you wash your rice and honestly i learned this when i used to do sushi you want to wash all the starch out of the rice this helps the rice so much in the cooking process and you just want to make sure that you get anything that is like not rice or weebles i think that is called out of there because they tend to hide in the rice and you want to make sure that you get that out because you want to make sure that you're not eating that and i think maggots too is like certain things that hide in rice so you want to make sure that you're getting your rice very very clean so i wash my rice i think five or six times before i put it to get cooked put my rice on the side after I washed it out and now I'm going to go ahead and add my three cups of water yes I measure my water because with rice you don't want to guess I don't care how good of a chef you are with rice you never want to guess to make the perfect rice especially for beginners make sure that you're measuring your water because if you don't it'll be too sticky or it will be too wet and you don't want that or mushy rice and no one likes mushy rice so after I do that I go ahead and I add a a little bit of oil to my pot and then after I add oil to my pot I'm gonna go ahead and I think I made yellow rice this night so I went and I took a packet of sazon and I added it into my pot which you guys will see me doing make sure when you first start out your heat is on a high heat so I feel like that's what I was adjusting first and then I'm gonna go ahead and add that half packet of sazon because I wanted to do yellow rice to go with our tacos because taco Tuesday and and then once I go ahead and get this packet open, I'm gonna add half a packet of the sazon. And then I do add a little bit of salt into my rice. You don't have to do this because sazon does have salt already in it, but you wanna make sure that you're doing this just to go ahead and have your rice have some flavor in it. I add the oil so it doesn't stick. So I'm just stirring the pot of rice and then once it comes to like a boil, I'm going to go ahead and cover my rice.
Now the next thing that you want to do is go ahead and open up your lid to make sure that your rice is cooking well and then I lowered the heat and now I'm going and I'm taking my lettuce and my vegetables and I'm going to go ahead and prep those because of the fact that I want to make sure that I have them on the side for my toppings for my actual tacos so I'm just going ahead and doing that. And as you can see, I washed my lettuce already, so I don't have to worry about that at all. So now I'm going and taking the lettuce that I want, and I'm going and cutting up the pieces into like slices. Then I'm going to show you guys a trick with the rice. So you want to go back and your rice should kind of look like this. So while it's on a medium low heat, you see how the water is almost dissolved and it has like little holes in it. That's what you're looking for before you stir. So I haven't stirred my rice at all except for in the beginning when I added the seasonings and then now I'm stirring it again. Now what I'm going to do after this stir, I'm going to just lower it down let it simmer for the remaining of the 15 minutes and i'm going to leave the lid on top so my rice can steam so this is by far my favorite part which is basically going and building my tacos so i just have three tacos i'm adding my lettuce and my onion mixture as the base you can build it however you would like to build it but for me this is just how i wanted my tacos to be then after i go ahead and add the lettuce the next thing that i'm gonna do is go in and add on my ground turkey so i'm just adding in my lettuce and then you guys are gonna see me go in after i add the lettuce come with the ground turkey which i'm going and getting from over there but i was trying to figure out the best way where i can show you guys what i was doing so I'm just packing everything back in, making it look nice and pretty, of course, with the lettuce and the onions. You can add whatever toppings you want. You can add tomato tomatoes. You can add tomatoes or whatever you like on your tacos. This is just what I had. I used what was on hand. And I'm going to go ahead and add my ground turkey and vegetable mix. And then after I go ahead and add all of that, I'm going to like speed up the process so you guys can see. I just top it off with some queso, have some rice, and I'll let you guys see me trying it on camera.
time to bust down on these tacos and enjoy your taco tuesday so i'm about to try them on camera because i love when people do that when i watch their videos so we're gonna try them on camera and y'all let me know so heavenly father thank you for the school and the strength and nourish my body thank you for giving me the opportunity to be able to have this food lord thank you for everything that you've done for me given me and blessed me with and in jesus name i pray Like, comment, subscribe, you already know the vibe, join your girls tribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!